take a live look out over Bay City this morning, embracing the first day of fall with a beautiful sunrise outside, too. To help us celebrate the start of the season, we're joined this morning by Jen Kurtz, Director of Programming for the Chippewa Nature Center. Jen, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. So it's the first day of fall. Yes. Um, this is a big deal for the Chippewa Nature Absolutely. Center because you guys have so many events and activities. What are a few things we can look forward to this season? We love celebrating the fall with our Fall Harvest Festival, which is coming up the first Saturday in October. Mm -hmm. Then we end the month of October with Nature at Night. Those are a couple of the really big festivals that we do that we invite folks out to enjoy enjoy the changing of the seasons yes. um, during the fall. Yeah. Speaking of the changing of the seasons, I think seeing all the colors outside is one of my favorite things about fall, probably some of your favorite things too. Um, when it comes to the leaves changing color, can you explain why that is and how that process works? Yes, yeah, so all summer long, um, the plants are making chlorophyll, which is the green pigment that you see in the leaves. Mm -hmm. And when the days start getting shorter and the nights start getting longer, it triggers the tree to stop making that pigment. Um, that's the pigment, core pigment for photosynthesis, making its own food. And um, when they stop doing that, you start seeing the yellows and some of the reds. Mm -hmm. And as sugars get caught in the leaves, um, they make some of the reds and purples um, there's a pigment associated with that so it's really about the trees transitioning into being ready to lose their leaves stopping to put energy into making their own food and um, just getting ready to let those leaves fall to the ground it's a really beautiful process <laughs> are there any places you would recommend around Midland Saginaw or Bay counties to really see the colors outside and enjoy fall any place where there is nature, whether that might be a neighborhood that you can walk mm -hmm. in, obviously you can come out to Chippewa Nature Center, it's free to come for a hike there. Um, Shiawassee has beautiful places, your local parks are beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, maple trees tend to be the most gorgeous red, orange, and, and purple leaves, um, so getting a chance to see those are really stunning. Um, but even just driving um, on mm -hmm. your way to work, just pause for a minute and, and look at the colors that will be happening over the coming weeks. And what are some of the events for kids at the Chippewa Nature Center this fall? Those two festivals I mentioned are great opportunities and then our calendar is full of family events. So on Sunday afternoons we have a nature play program where families mm -hmm. can come out and play in our um, the woods nature play area. It's open all the time but there's some extra things there on certain Sunday afternoons. Um, we have family programs throughout September, October and November all year round actually um, that help kids uh, look for insects or um, we have fall color hikes. We have full moon strolls. We have all these different things where um, children and families and adults um, can connect with whatever's happening in that season. Awesome. Well, sounds like a lot of fun to look forward to. Jen, thank you so much. If you would like to learn more about the Chippewa Nature Center, we'll have details on our website at WNEM.com.